That's something? I thought it was all about winning. I love how he gets, he gets pissed off. you got to be a closer, Eric. Taylor, Hicks must die. <laughs> I bet you're in love with Catherine McPhee, Eric. Yeah. He's real good looking. Yeah. Who yeah. ever heard of losing a nine-run lead? He's got yeah right. He's he's got to call in now because it's the end of American Idol. Right? You figure he can't he can't. He's he, dying to get to the finale. He wants to be our correspondent. He can't control himself. Hey Robin, what's wrong with you? Uh, Catherine McPhee was great. Ugh. Yeah, Robin, you say that I do not know anything about music. Catherine was the best. of the You three all of have ten years. years. Wait, I can't hear what Eric's saying. What'd you say, Robin? Catherine was the best of the three, with Taylor Hicks being the next of the three. Eric is correct. No, he's not. Elliot Yamin yeah. was the best. No, yeah. no. Uh, first of all, he's never going to win. He's a, he's a, he's retarded looking. <laughs> uh, Taylor Hicks is like looks like Jay Leno, and he like he moves like a like he has palsy or something. Yeah, like Joe Cocker. People for some reason find him charming. I don't know. He's out this week. I find him annoying. You think he's out, and Yamin will be in the final, huh? Yeah, and he'll just no. lose. No, I'm going to tell. I, I'm seriously, and this is the end of this gay discussion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yamin is out this week. And then it's uh, Catherine McPhee will win the whole thing. Thank you. And that's it. Taylor Hicks will win the whole thing. All right. We'll see. Eric, right, who do you think is going to win? I think it will be Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going this week? Elliot, hopefully. You don't like yeah. him? Well, Elliot, out of the three of them, Elliot kind of got the least warm, you know, was not really well received by the judges. Like. Thank you, Mr. Warmth. <laughs> <laughs> Were you shocked last week when Chris was booted? Oh, definitely. He's, he's not warm. You know, I thought he was going to do better. Oh, is Taylor Hicks the, the gray-haired guy? Yeah. Hey, let's compare Ralph's life with Eric the Midget's life. I don't okay. think they're that different. <laughs> I think Ralph stays home all day and Eric stays home all day. <laughs> Eric might do more than me. Eric I would, probably gets... I would actually like to get a job. Yeah, yeah, Ralph just well, that's different. Work. Ralph could have a job. <laughs> Eric, do you, do you, Eric, do you know a celebrity that you pick out shirts for? No. Well, that's different. How's your sense of style, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> My sense of style, well, just regular, just like baseball t-shirts and <laughs> pants. And... What do you got scheduled for today to do? Oh, uh, not much. Just stay here and... May have to go out to get the tire on the van fixed. That's not it. Wow, you're doing more than me. Tire on the van. Hey, Stamos is here. I got to go, you guys. I was going to say Eric could pick out Artie's wardrobe, baseball. Shit. It sounds yeah. like we're like Stamos going to open up or he's going to clam up. Man. If he clams up, I'm throwing him out. Are yeah. you going to literally just throw him out if he won't talk? Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna put Pop Rocks up his asshole. And... Ah. Yeah, I was talking to him on the phone the other day for like an hour, and he's just filming on all this stuff. I'm like, dude. This guy knows everything that's going on with hot chicks and banging. And... Why don't, did he bring the hot chick? That would be nice. He's yeah. busy in hotels, hopping fences, and he's all over the place. What are you talking about? Why is he hopping fences? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hey, maybe you ought to stay on the line for this interview. Because yeah, uh, because he he tells me shit, and then I go boy this guy could be the greatest guest ever yeah he's got a right he's got like nine books in him hopping fences oh. not, sounds like he's getting away from a jealous boy you know, right Howard what one day I'm on the phone with John right and we hadn't talked for a while and he's filling me in on all this stuff right and I get a call waiting I go hold hold on a second let me get the call and I come back he goes what do you have to do man flip the tape <laughs> <laughs> now John Stamos and Eric the Midget had the complete opposite lives yes <laughs> polar opposites. Uh, like if John wants to bang Carrie Underwood, he can do it. <coughs> <coughs> Eric, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. You broke his heart, Justin. <laughs> Eric, the bodybuilder. All right, I gotta go. <coughs> um, Howard, <laughs> I heard yesterday that you were on Bubba's home making fun of me. Yeah, I was. I was doing my Eric impression. I wrote him an email thanking him for not getting in on that making fun of me. Yeah, you know, he, Bubba didn't make fun of me, I did. I told him I appreciated that he didn't. Well, Eric, why don't why you do start you, doing his show, then? Eric, why do you think it's making fun of you when, like, people do your voice? You just have a fun voice to imitate. It's not a goof on you. I think you're great. You're like the best guest, man. You know. It's not, you know, I didn't ever have to 
deal with that kind of thing going through the 12 years of school. And yeah. now here I am, an adult, and I have to deal with... <laughs> well, people probably did it behind your back. Yeah, of course. I mean, the, the worst thing I was ever called in school was speed racer because I'd race down the hall in my electric wheelchair. Yeah, but to your face, that was the worst. Yeah, no, they made fun of you behind yeah. your back. Should we call you speed racer? Yeah, I wouldn't make fun of you to your face. Yeah. I mean, if you were sitting here, I'd be, you know, polite. And, All I know is and, that... Why is John Stamos so blessed and Eric isn't? You know, that is the rub of life. Life is so unfair. Spread it yeah. around. Eric, do you hate guys like Stamos who get more pussy than they can handle? Like, he's, he has to juggle two or three bitches a day. Yeah, he has to turn it down. Yeah, he's with models exclusively. No, he, he seems like a nice guy. You aren't envious of his life at all? No. Oh boy! Wow. You're talking about you're talking about jealousy that's off the charts. I mean, he, Eric's probably jealous of me and Benji for getting laid once. <laughs> are you jealous of anyone who gets laid? <laughs> you know, me and Benji are jealous of John's day. <laughs> Eric, you must be craving like human touch and stuff, right? I mean, because the only t human touch you get is when like people wipe your ass. Well, I do that myself. Oh, oh. you can't even get it then. No, seriously, you got to be craving a girlfriend real bad, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. And look at John Stamos. He's jumping fences. Yeah, but he dumps models. <laughs> he moves on. You know who you sound like a little bit, Eric? Oswald Cobblepot. Who's that? The Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He sounds exactly like him. Yeah, it's true. Oh, no. He does. <laughs> Speed racer was bad enough. <laughs> now I'll have to live this down. Oh. All right, we'll call him Oswald Cobblepot. It could be worse. My nose could be gushing with blood. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I love you, man. You know that. I just, I, you know, we can we bust everyone's balls on the show. I'm, I'm we call always... Ralph Gay, Ralphie, Ralphie He's cakes. Ralphie cakes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, have a good day and don't bum out. Well, just real quick. You and all your listeners want me to show you a whole lot of gratitude and appreciation and stuff. Well, you know, I would if I would just, you know, if you guys would just stop, you know, with the nicknames. <laughs> oh, forget it, Eric. Give it up. At least the nickname part. No, uh, Eric. No. no. No, you can't. You can't. You can't decide what we do. <laughs> you don't owe anybody anything, Eric. Don't listen to those people. You're doing fine. Yeah, you're Eric the Midget. or Eric the Astronaut. You choose. But what was that? A race car driver? Speed racer. Speed, speed racer. racer. The speed racer. Mm. <laughs> speed racer on the air. I, I gotta go. I gotta go speak to Stamos. I got a schedule today. Yeah, we want to hear about <laughs> his love life. Unless you got one, Eric, you want to talk about. No, not at this time. Yeah, I gotta get, I gotta get this kid laid. If you come down here, I get you laid in two minutes with one of these porno hookups. Oh, you could take so? some bonds, Virginia. Oh, I could get Eric laid. Eric, why don't you come to town, man? I know, I know. It's a slam dunk with that uh, broad who just moved to uh, Arizona. What's Tabitha, Tabitha Stevens. Tabitha Stevens. I could definitely get you her. How big's your your peen eye? I don't know. Do you ever measure it? No. You got a tape measure there? No. I need you to measure your penis. And you know what we'll do? Because you're in the wheelchair, I'll just wheel you right into her. <laughs> She'll be into that. <laughs> we could get her to agree to that. Or you know what I'll do? I'll put you on top of her, and I'll just rock you back and forth. <laughs> oh, baby, oh, baby. You'll use your oh, foot, baby. you know, just keep hitting yeah. me in the butt. I'll put my foot on your ass. You keep... <laughs> and, Eric, everyone has to endure nicknames. You're Eric the Midget. Like, John Stamos is John, the guy who gets laid a lot. <laughs> right. John the player. John the stud. Seriously, how big's your peen? I don't know. Can you get aroused? Yes. You have a boner when you wake up in the morning? Yes. You touch it? Sometimes. Is it a big a boner in the morning? Well, how big? I mean, give me a guesstimate. Can you get a whole hand around it? And... Or are you going to use two fingers? <laughs> no, I guess my whole hand. No kidding. Like, what, six inches? Eight? 
I've never seen Eric's hands. Are his hands big? Yeah, his little hands. I guess it's about somewhere in the six to eight. I don't know. You think you're eight inches? Whoa. I don't. That big. But six you could do. I bet you he's the size of a human pinky. <laughs> Why don't you measure yourself, Eric? Would you measure yourself so we know? I'm not sure I really want that on the air. I mean, that's what Richard tried asking me in that prank phone call. That I... Oh, come on. Who cares? I didn't answer that. I don't believe you haven't measured it. Brag with the rest of the guys. They all measure. All the time you've spent sitting around doing nothing, you haven't measured your penis. No. I don't believe that for a minute. No. No. All right. Did you just think what difference does it make? The busiest men in the world have measured their yeah. penis. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're talking about Bill Gates measures his penis. James the Brown Trump. has measured is, his isn't penis. Isn't it like the first thing you do when you when you get a hard on? Yeah, I mean, it's something you just do. It's what every guy does. You want to know where you stand in life. All right, Eric, i got to go interview John Stamos. All right. All right, thank you for calling. I'll bye for now. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> bye for now. I love him. Yeah, he's the best. Hey, Tabitha. Hi. Would you bang Eric the Midget? No, what? No, I don't even know who Eric the Midget is. This is Tabitha Stevens, right? Yes, that's how it is me. You know Eric the Midget? You know Eric the Midget? I do. The guy who calls in and talks like that. I know he is, but I don't know him. If I could get him in here, would you bang him? I don't know. I don't think he, he would do it, because I'm not an, on American Idol. <laughs> hey, uh, Gary, quickly get Eric the Midget on. I think i got something lined up here that might be interesting. You guys are crazy. <laughs> no, you're crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah. But in a good way. I mean, we like it. Yeah. Did you hear what happened to me? No. Oh, the billing company took down my movie clips off my website. Why? They said it was too violent. And they made me take it down. I don't think that's why they made you take it down. The clip that says, I know something you don't no, know. No, shut up. It wasn't even that violent. <laughs> I'm I saw releasing it. it so just so you guys know, it's not coming out. I did something you can't do. Hello, this is Eric. Tabitha, spread your legs. I'm going to give you my midget cock. <laughs> 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 would, you, would you have sex with him theoretically? Um, I never did that before. I've never done it. She before, so. would. <laughs> oh, that'd Maybe. be wild. I think he would. He'd be done in a second. So what? Well, that's okay. I'm just letting you know. Cause I'll hurt you. Huh? Uh, what was that? Gary, any chance you can get that kid on the phone real quick? Call him now. All right. <laughs> this could be a Howard Stern yeah. exclusive. I hope he's not busy. He's on line twenty, Howard. Thank you. Hold on, Tabitha. I'm gonna hook you kids okay. up. I'm in a love mode. <laughs> Eric. Eric, Hello. thank you. Hey, I got your dream come true, brother. Well, she's not an American Idol contestant. So what? Her body doesn't quit. <laughs> thank you. Eric, meet Tabitha Stevens. Hey, Good Eric, morning. how are you? Good morning. Good. How are you? Good. Good. Yeah? What's you... going on there? Eric, you want a piece of this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't exactly want this to want that kind of thing to be, you know, public. Dude, dude, <laughs> beggars can't be choosers. Have you ever gotten laid in your life? No. All right. Have you ever gotten a hand job? No. Oh, that's so sad. Eric, what's your problem? What's his problem? Where do I begin? So keeping it out of the public is keeping you from having any kind of touching going on, Eric. You, you should be asking, Eric, what's not your problem? Eric, what's not your problem? <laughs> Eric, are you embarrassed? A little. <laughs> Why? Well, I just don't. And when it happens, I want it not to be in the spotlight. Oh, you want it to be more special and private, huh? Right. No, that's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, Eric, you come in here. I'll get Tabitha here. You guys meet in the studio. We send you off to a hotel. And then we at least have to hear it over the phone while you're banging her. Or getting a hand job or something. Can I make a suggestion to Eric? 
Eric, you told us, I think, the last time we spoke to you that you sort of outlived all your doctor's predictions, correct? Right. Right. So, I mean, it's not like this. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, you should every take... Every day is borrowed time. Every day is borrowed time. So just, uh, I mean, don't wait for perfection. This is pretty perfect. You're playing with the house's money, Eric. No. We're all here for you, buddy. <laughs> what are you wearing right now, Tabitha? Tell them. Maybe get into a little phone sex. Well, it'd be hard to say I'm wearing when I'm not wearing anything. You're nude? Absolutely. Your body's so taut and hard, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. It's wet and ready to go. All right, tell her what you do to her. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. What am I going to do with you? I try and I try and I try. First, He's I'd no bore fun. you. He's no fun. First, I'd bore you to death. <laughs> then I'd make you scream out of dullness. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd talk about the Oaktonay's relief pitching. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd talk about American Idol series one through eight. Then I'd finish off on your face while I pretended you were Carrie Underwood. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd give you my Taylor Hicks. Soniloquy. <laughs> Dude, I got a girl here who'd be who's friggin' hot. Who you definitely give me a hand job, right? Absolutely. Without a doubt. <laughs> we should do it in the studio, I could do that. And mm. nobody'll see, we'll put a blanket over it. Nice. You want a hand job, dude? You know how good that hand's gonna feel on that pecker? I'm sure it probably would, but I'm And not. she's a pro. Mm -hmm. She knows how to tweak that thing and take 30 seconds. It's the best you could get. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> right. She knows what she's doing. Uh-huh. It's her business to know what's going on. Yep. Tell him what you do with your hand to him. I think I'd have to show him, but there's a lot of twisting wrist action involved in it with a lot of saliva. There must be saliva in my hand in order to do it. So you would lick, you, you would lick, eyes to think what it is. you'd uh -huh. lick your hand first. Oh, absolutely. Actually, if he wants to spit in it, he can spit in it. And then you play with it. Absolutely, yes. Balls and all, too. You can't play with the balls? forget about the balls. Oh, all of it. It's a package, Howard. Well, that's nice. You can't forget about the balls, Howard. No, you can't. <laughs> mm hmm Eric, what do you think? I think Eric's in shock. He's unconscious. <laughs> he, fell oh. his chair. he never got this close. I don't like the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, not like the spotlight. Your only chance is if someone starts a game show called Sex with Freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I'm trying my best here, but you got to play a little bit. I'm just not. I just do not want it to happen that way. Mm hmm. Well, how? I mean, it's are are you at all close to it ever happening? I don't know. Ugh. I think he's embarrassed for for for, for him for, for, to show himself to Tabitha Newt. You think that's what it is? Oh, no. that's like come on! You don't ever feel like that because Jeff the drunk said that he didn't mean the button did, and that thing didn't. It was big for a second, but then it wasn't. You didn't have lube up. <laughs> <laughs> this. Didn't lube the f up. Oh no, no, you gonna be calling. Eric, I, I'll offer it one last time because I am running out of time. Would you, would you enjoy a liaison with Tabitha Stevens, or not? I mean, I'm not gonna waste my time if you want to just pass. I've passed on all the other porn star opportunities you have presented me with, and I'm passing on this one. Wow. Then, 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 then well, it's so, okay. I understand. Wow. My feelings are not here. It's okay. Hey, I am absolutely. I'm absolutely shocked. He's not ready, Howard. He's not ready. He's How much time you got left, Frosty? You're on. Yeah, Howard, this ungrateful midget. If he doesn't do it, I'd love to f Tabitha. Exactly. All right, Eric. I tried. I thought I had a home run here for you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. We might have to send in reinforcements, Howard. Well, go watch one of her movies and see what you're missing out on. Mm -hmm. All right, Eric. All right, I'll leave you alone. High pitch. <laughs> Back to beating off. Oh, okay. All right, sorry. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> shocked. Bye for now. I'm absolutely shocked. That's his new sign. It's Star Trek sound. Thank you. Oh, that goes. Thank you, Tabitha. 
Thank you very much, Howard. Uh, hey, we tried. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. And, and, and thank you for being so generous with your time and, and your affection. Thank you. Well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right, Tabitha Stevens, nude and ready to go. Ready to use a hand on him or bang him, whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. I know he's in a wheelchair and I know he's handicapped, but I told him I would push down with my foot on his ass and help him get rocking on her. I know, and that's comforting. Or he could lay on his back and let her get on top. Whatever you want. Hey, you know... You probably have to do everything with him, right? Around the world, yes. I mean, he's not going to be able to do anything. I don't know. I don't know what his deal... I don't, I don't really know what his deal is. I make the bitches do the work. <laughs> Quickly, Eric, go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. I just started right away. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> what is it about me? <laughs> so hard to get. By the way, let me say something. Um, as predicted... I'll, I'll do this for Eric's benefit because he loves to talk American Idol. As yeah. predicted, uh, Elliot Yamin is out of the picture. It is now between the two of them. The heavy favorite on the gambling sites is this guy Taylor Hicks with yeah. the gray hair. He will not win. You um, think that, uh, what's her name, C Catherine McPhee will pull ahead? The thinking is that Taylor will get all of Elliot Yamin's votes. Ah. Uh, but uh, I still feel she'll pull it out. I do believe that there's no way that guy could be an American Idol. I hate if he says Soul Patrol one more time. Soul Patrol! And it's not even Soul Patrol, it's like, Soul Patrol! Woo! Woo! He is so uncool. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just beyond horrible. Which is pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Has that summed up for you, Eric? Yeah. Thank you. You're a Catherine McPhee guy, I think, Eric. What? Yeah, I'm a fan of hers. <laughs> yeah, I want to fuck her. <laughs> Dude, everyone wrote in. They can't believe you turned down Tabitha Stevens. I know. I've gotten the same thing on my space. Yeah. I mean, I gave this guy a slam dunk. The chick's got a rockin' body. She would, she'd give him a hand job, whatever he wanted. Has he changed his mind? No. <laughs> and the, the only reason I'm doing it is because of the situation I'm in right now. What does my that mean? My parents are paying for this apartment, so I can't do anything that they might see as not something they approve of. Oh, come on. How old are you? I'm 31, but they're paying Dude, for the... Dude, you're afflicted. You've got, you've got a medical condition. You don't think your old man wants you to get laid before you check off the planet? You're, 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 why don't you go talk to a man to man and say, I have an opportunity <laughs> to get blamed. What does he think? They're going to stop paying for the apartment and let him hit the street? And, 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 and tell him that I'll help you. I'll do the assist. I'll put my foot on your ass and push in. <laughs> but really, would they leave you homeless? Do it a hand job. No, da da what's your dad, a pussy? No. Why don't you say to him, you've had pussy, why can't I? They wouldn't leave me homeless. They just leave, bring me back up to the lake house. <laughs> well, it'd be worth it. What's wrong with the lake house? You could sit there, close your eyes, and remember your hand job. Yeah. They're not bringing you back to the lake house. Don't you realize they don't want you around? They're glad you're gone. They like visiting you. They like giving you your independence. Dude, you're, you're, you're imagining all this. You you're, you're, like you're, a, your dad's a man. Sounds like a great life. you got a lake house. They would begrudge you a little pleasure. Anyway, what can I do for you, Eric? Because i got to get to Elliot, and i got a lot to get to. Hey, hey, by the way, here's this just, if you had gotten Tabitha... This is like the guys dreamt up a scenario, like what it would have sounded like, okay? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I need to start my power chair. That's you in your chair bursting through the door. You're so horny. Oh, 
Oh, hi, Eric. Hello, Tabitha. Well, enough of this small talk, Eric. Let's fuck. Hey, watch your mouth. I want this to be special. <laughs> no foul language. This is our little secret. Now hop on my power chair, whore. Oh, let me unzip your Oshkosh bagage. They're man pants. I had them shortened. <laughs> oh, your little midget penis is hard. Of course. I should have been dead ten years ago and I've never been laid. Can I suck your midget penis? No. First, I want you to piss on me. Oh, Eric, you're so kinky. In my face, with my mouth open. There I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, you stupid bitch. You got it on my power chair. You're shorting out my power. on my power chair. Oh no. Get out of here, Tabitha. Wow. Well, that wouldn't be good. What do you think of that, Eric? That, that, <clears throat> that would not even be the way it would go because I would not want the peeing thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Good critique. Eric, do you ever laugh? <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> He laughed so, at once. You're saying it wasn't realistic. <laughs> plus, plus, I could tell that was Richard playing her. Right. We should have gotten the real girl. That's true. Yeah, good critique. Hi, oh. right, Eric. What, what can I do for you today? And then I'll move on because I do have a few things to get to. And I got Dee Snyder and I got uh, voicemail. Well, no. I e email Will with a message. It's more for your listeners than it is. For you, it's a, a email I, or a website I found that. I like listening to Robin laugh I at know, you. I'm in laughing the, in the background. On the delay, that's good. <laughs> gives a profile of each of the Whack Pack members, and I put a star by the names of each person as to. There are the reasons why. I don't want to be associated with the Whack Pack. Holy Christ. What is this, Gary? I, uh, I don't know what he's ever talking about. Eric sent us an email. You ready? Oh, my God. It's 30 pages. It's a book. It's a book. Dude, you really ha you we, need we, to get laid. We, we bailed on it half page in. What is, what is, what is it about? It's just, it says, hey, Will, if anyone still wonders why I don't want anything to do with the Whack Pack, the names I mark with a star are why. I don't want anyone out there to think that I'm anything like them. So let's see. Um, he doesn't want to be associated with Beetlejuice. Why? Blue Iris. Why? Um, let's Eric, see. you got a funny voice. You have no sense of humor. Although he doesn't mind being associated with Crackhead Bob and Crazy Alice. All right, so there you go. Daniel Carver's out. Um, and it, uh, and it, uh, Double A. He doesn't want to be associated with Double A. Well, I'm sorry. You're in the wag pack. Elliot Offen. You don't want to be associated with Elliot Offen. No. <laughs> no. No. Right, right. Well, Eric, you're in oh, the black pack. Hold on, he doesn't want to. Uh, he doesn't want to be associated with Gay Ramon. Now, what did Gay Ramon ever do besides be gay? Oh, I don't know, really. Get born. You don't know, but you put a star next to his name. High pitch, Eric's out. I don't like Eric. Jeff the drunk, Jeff the vomit guy, Joey Boots are all people. <laughs> but Joe, John the stutterer, he doesn't mind. Kenneth Keith, he doesn't mind. All right, look, I got to move along. Eric, you're in the wag pack. Just accept it. All right. No. All right. He won't accept it. No. <laughs> no way. No. It makes you feel any better. I do your voice all day and night. I, 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 I call Ralph and I go. <laughs> and, then he, and he calls me and goes. <laughs> what did he, he laughed at one thing once, Eric, a sports joke or something. Yeah. That was it. One time he, he laughed. <laughs> Eric never left. You're so serious. That's I really bad. do wish you would have uh, had sex with... Uh... Might have loosened you up. Yeah, I really do. I I'm sorry you didn't take advantage of that. But I understand your concern about your parents. But I even think your dad would understand. But that's just me. They're treating you like a baby. You're not. You're a man. It's my opinion. 
Okay. So, Artie, did you get hit by another baseball or a softball? No, I didn't play. Did you show your dad a photo of Tabitha Stevens? No. Do you want me to send you some pictures you can show your dad? Yeah, I guess so. All right. He'll agree to it, believe me. All right, me. I'll do that for you. Why don't you check out this piece of ass? And show him to your dad. Don't just use him to beat off with. Right. All right. All right, Eric, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Um, bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now is his new sign-off. I know. Yeah, bye, bye for it. now. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric the Midget's on the phone, Gary. we got to uh, do this. What's going yeah. on? Hey, Eric. Good he, morning. He wants Catherine McPhee's phone number because we've got it. And Gary even called her. And uh, the chick from American Idol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't realize I just said that. What? You Why didn't did I ever it. ask for that? We told you we could get it for you. Oh. Did we, do you have that little that. tape? Our preview page, too. Are you ready to come in your pants, Eric? Get ready. Here you go. Wait. Give me one second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you something here for you to... Beat off to with your uh, midget penis. <laughs> Hold on a second. Where is that? Where is that, Gary? Oh, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Ow. Ow. Are you excited, Eric? Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. We decided we're not giving. Hey, do you think you can give out her number to him? Why not? I, yeah, I, I, I could, I could give it to him. He's got, but he's got to do something for it. Yeah, you got to slap your midget penis against the phone. Oh. Uh... All right, I tell you what, I'll make it easy for you. You got to measure your penis. You got to measure it. <laughs> I, I turned off all the lights and everything. I don't have any. Wait, well, oh. You turned off all your lights to talk to Howard. Oh, it's three, almost four in the morning here. After I got off the phone, I was going to go to sleep. We got to have something in return for giving you the number. We can't just give it out. And don't, by the way, when we, if you do get her number, don't like call her every three seconds. And don't tell her we gave it to you. Right. Yeah, that's the rules. I know. I won't do that. All right. I call her and maybe leave a message. What are you, you going to say to Catherine McPhee? <laughs> yeah, what are you going to say? Just let's go over this so I don't get in trouble. Hi, Catherine. This is Eric. I'm a big fan of... Click! You better say Eric. <laughs> well, let him go. All right, so far i got no problem with this. Go ahead. I'm a big fan of yours. I hope you win American Idol on for this week. Good luck. you got to tell her you'll be voting for her. Wait, what don't you have to explain to her who you are and... You know, what the show means yeah, to you. No, and no, no, no. But don't say anything about that you're a friend of Howard Stern or anything. Okay, but how would I explain who I was without mentioning Because then she's going to know I gave you the phone number. I know, but without mentioning the show. Well, right. just say I'm, uh, my name is... Uh, yeah, th forget the show. Say Jay Leno gave it to you. You're a regular on Jay Leno. All right, throw <laughs> Jay Leno under the bus, okay? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Who cares? It throws everybody else under the bus. Don't look at it that way, Eric. Yeah. I mean, just don't bring up my name, you know, because then I look like an ass. All right. Yeah, when the police come, don't say we give you the number. You want it, You know what you ought to tell her? Tell her you can deliver Cali California with the vote, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hello. Well, you're on some, you're like on MySpace, right? And you could get everybody to vote for yeah. her, your fan base. No, no, he's got to go like this. Hello, Hello, Catherine. Oh, my friend. My name is Eric. I'm calling you because I control, I'm one of the guys in control of the California vote for American Idol. I just want you to know. I hold a block of voters. I hold a block of voters of over of over four million people. That's how you bring in our show. So is Eric, Eric? Are you going for Catherine or Travis? Who's your pick? Uh, well, Taylor. Travis. There's no one named Travis. Taylor. 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 Yeah, who's Travis? I don't know. They're all the same. Taylor. Thing. No, I'm going for Catherine. You haven't even seen the performances yet. Well, I want one reason I want Catherine is because I think. Taylor's whole soul pitch whole thing would get annoying after a while. It is annoying. You got a ruler there? You got a ruler in your apartment. You got some measuring device. And you got a light. Yeah. 
You can't use the excuse the lights are out. I can't measure my penis. <laughs> what was there, an earthquake? Let's just go over this again. You're going to say, look, you control a block of 4 million voters through connections in the media, okay? You don't, even uh -huh. have to, you don't even have to mention Leno. And you can deliver them to her. What are you going to ask for her? And just say, you know, I'm letting you know that I'm going to do this for you, but remember the name Eric. Oh, you, you got to have something like I want a personal, uh, no. uh, I want a meeting or... I want to take a meeting with you. Yeah, did, you could tell that you, you took a meeting with Carrie Underwood, right? Backstage at that concert at that time? Right. Tell her you're just looking for a meeting. Yeah, I could, I could see that. You know, I got the chance to meet Carrie Underwood last year on the American Idol tour. I was hoping to be able to get to meet her on this. Tour. Yeah, but you gave Carrie uh, Underwood your block of votes, and look what happened to her. Yeah. So you backed her, and look what happened. But right. don't bring up my name that I gave you the phone number. Oh, no, no, no. All right. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Thank See you. how nice he got? He's all nice now. Oh, he's a well, sweetheart. The only thing... Uh, here, wait, let me give him another shot of this. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Mm. <laughs> well, that sounds high. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> is there more to that message? Yes, yeah. there is. <laughs> Very much more. <laughs> she just called up and said her name, Maris. But I'm just giving you the... The tea. No. Let me see here. What are you doing? Just getting his ruler out. I'm getting out my <laughs> co-tractor. <laughs> Picking out my cock. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see here. Co-tangent, co-sign. <laughs> you, you got a ruler there? Hang on. All right. I'll give you this one more time in case you right. get nervous. I don't have a ruler, but would a straw work? A straw. I don't know. A straw. <laughs> how, how many? <laughs> Pretty long. Yeah, but 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 how many inches is a straw? You know what I mean? I want to know inches. Say about a foot. Oh, get out of here! The, the straw's, straw's a foot. A foot? That's a long straw. I thought he was saying his penis was a foot. <laughs> no. Yeah, oh Christ. Well, I tell you what, you get a hold of a ruler and call me back. No, I, this straw's about eight or nine inches. Yeah, but I need an exact measurement. And not from your balls. From your shaft. Okay. I'll try to find something, I'll call you back. All right. What is it, Gary? This is bullshit. You should have to, listen... He's got all those digital cameras and computers and everything. Just take a picture of it and oh, email it to I us. I don't want a picture of it. Oh, no, no, we won't, we won't post that's it. That's gay. But I'm not doing that. There's no way you're eight inches. Give me a break. He didn't say he was oh, eight inches. I think one of the guys said he said he was eight inches. He's going to measure it. He's going to go get a ruler, and then he's going to call us back. You know? Right. I mean, that's the only way you're going to know. Get a tape measure, too. Don't we want to know girth? <laughs> do you have a friend with an eight-inch cock? You could, you know, do a stunt thing with us? I'm not doing that. Ah. All right, just go get a go get a ruler. That's not a hard task, and we're going to do a measurement here. And then call me back as soon as you have the ruler. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, Eric the Midget going to measure his penis. For Catherine McPhee's phone number. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. <laughs> uh, Pharrell and um, Shuley were busting Eric the Midget's balls the other night on the air. Did you Did hear that? Did they have him on? Uh, no, what they did was, uh, yeah, well, Pharrell had him on the phone, and then, um, Shuley does this voice, Derek the Midget. Oh. And he was trying to engage Eric the Midget in, in that. conversation. Yeah, but it's impossible. I'll, I'll play a clip from there. I want to bring in, uh, Derek the Midget. Go ahead, Derek. Hello, Pharrell. Oh, hey, what's up, Derek the Midget? <laughs> Hello, Eric. Oh, I've been meaning to speak to you for quite some time now. Okay. Turns out you stole my spot on the Howard Stern Show. What do you think of that, Eric? I got some guy, Derek the Midget, saying that Eric the Midget stole his gig. I was supposed to be the only midget on the show. Well, then you'd have to take that up with Beetlejuice as well. He's a little person. Let me tell you something, pal. I have more talent in my wheelchair joystick than you have in your midget body. What do you think of that? <laughs> Don't them. 
I, I, I got a proposition, me and you, in a battle box fight in an octagon. <laughs> so, come on, civil neck. <laughs> What did he call him, Sizzle Neck? What's up with that? I mean, Derek, I mean, he just insulted him, Eric. You don't need this either, do you? No. I mean, if I see you, I'll roll over you like a speed bump. <laughs> hey, Derek, it sounds like you get a lot of pussy. I got it falling out of my chair. I got so much pussy. Eric, come on, man. Defend yourself. He has nothing to say. I don't really know what to say in response to this guy. That's because I own you. You are my midget bitch. <laughs> Except if he wants my spot in the whack pack, he could take it because I never wanted to be in there in the first place. Yeah, you never wanted to be in there in the first place. You didn't need any of these shenanigans. It's all a bunch of bullshit to you, Eric. <laughs> I bet I could stick my finger farther up my ass than you can yours. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm not someone that would try that, so... Would you try a Coke bottle? Nope. Uh, D Blunts, what about you? Would you would you try... Oh, I just lost Derek the Midget. Do you think he'll call back? Hold on, hey, uh, Blunts, would you stick a Coke bottle up your ass? <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> Everyone... But uh, Derek the Midget was fighting with Eric the Midget. Yeah. Everyone's shoving something up their ass. Yeah, there was a lot of gay s discussion down there. Oh, man. So is Shuli like a regular on Pharrell's show now? And he's on a lot. I don't know if he's a regular. That's a Pharrell's good... vibing with Shuli. I think there's something going on there. It's a good gig. Yeah. I think there's some sort of chemistry thing going on. Shuli with Derek the Midget, his new character. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Hello, Eric. Good morning. Eric, uh, last time you said, when we asked the measurement, you said eight inches. We want to make it clear, don't measure you. We want your dick measured. Yeah. You measure your waist, it will be a hundred inches. Nice. <laughs> He's giving me fat jokes back. Uh, let's uh, see. I'll accept that. I was looking for my... Gary, where is my Catherine McPhee message? Ugh. I can't find a damn thing. Gary? Yeah. I need a co-pilot sitting I'm next working, to me. I'm working. It's. He can't even find it. No, you need four guys. It's preview page two. Preview page two. Thank you. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Eric wants Catherine McPhee's phone number real bad. All he's got to do is measure his midget penis for me, and then it says, "What'd you do? You went out and got a ruler." Yeah. Where'd you get a ruler that, at that time of night in California? There actually was one in an art drawer that I have. You're an artist? Yeah, I, I do drawings. <laughs> now, are you sitting there with your pants off? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Well, I'm trusting you to be honest. Yeah. You're a painter, huh, Eric? No, I just draw. Mm. All right. Your new name could have been Tiny Curtis. All right, you ready? Yes. Turn off your radio. It's, it's off. No, it's not. What is that? Yeah. Yeah, what is that? Oh, hang on. I gotta go. Oh, mine doesn't come with a remote. <laughs> he needs the remote more than anybody. Jesus. That's almost cruel not giving him a remote. Now describe what's going on there. You're in a you're in your wheelchair, right? Yeah. And you're nude. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. <laughs> God, it's crazy. Ugh. No underpants, nothing. Well, shirts on. That's it. All right. And where do you, He's sitting there in a shirt with no bottoms. Right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and what about your ruler? Where is that? I got it. All right. Is it a 12-inch ruler? <laughs> Actually, the ruler is 14. It's up my ass. <laughs> you got a ruler that's 14 inches long? Yeah. All right. Where did you find that? <laughs> Won't your chair get stinky if you're naked? No, I got out of the chair. Where are you? On the bed. 
My ass is in the air. So you're, <laughs> so you're laying on the bed nude on your back? Yeah. All right. I just want a picture of it. And you're fully aroused? Yes. Really? Yeah. You and did that for the measuring? How'd that happen? I just thought of some things. Who'd you think about? Just various different women. Who's in the catalog? And who do you? Who's your number one go-to thinking about a girl if you're going to jack it off? Um, this one female on the internet. <laughs> Cindy Margulis. No. She's lame. <laughs> Most downloaded my ass. <laughs> you're Not naked. By me. You're naked. You got a ruler out, and you're thinking about a girl on the internet. Yeah. Okay. Hold it. Derek the Midget's on the phone. He wants to yell at you. Yes, Derek. Why don't you think of Ryan Seacrest, you faggot? <laughs> <laughs> What's longer, the joystick on your chair or your penis? Why don't you get a life and get off the phone? By the way, for those of you who don't know, this is Derek the Midget, who claims that he was the original midget on the show and feels Eric has stolen his thunder. That's right. I had a shirt that said Derek the Astronaut long before Eric showed up. <laughs> he screwed me, and I will find my revenge. Well, here. Derek, we're going to measure Eric's penis right now, and you're kind of doing a buzzkill thing. All right. Sorry. All right. Now, Eric? Yes? Are you ready to measure? Yeah. All right, go ahead. It's, uh... Be honest. From your shaft, not from your balls. I know. All right. I remember what you told me. All right. Five inches. You're five inches. Yes. Fully aroused. Yes. Wow. Maybe somewhere a little over. Dude. Dude. Swear in your mother's life you're really measuring. Yeah. Say it. I swear on my mother's life I really measured. Wow. And you're somewhat of a celebrity. You could be getting like Billy Barty type pussy, man. <laughs> I'm the Tommy Lee. <laughs> yeah, midget. Go on, get laid. <laughs> you're a Tommy Wee. <laughs> I got to tell you, Eric, proportionally, that's not too bad. Five inches. <laughs> that's about a third of his height, isn't it? Yeah, it's a third of your body weight. <laughs> I think I'm five inches. Yeah, I ain't much more than that. <laughs> if I'm you six... never want to get a woman off, that's a great size to be. <laughs> <laughs> Derek the Midget, what are you? What size are you? I'm uh, seven and a half. Seven and a half inches? Oh, that hurts. Total height, not my penis. Oh. Wow, five inches, Eric the Midget. I'm shocked, Eric. Well, going by the theory that every guy doubles it, it's two and a half. Are you pushing down on the ruler? Like, are you, like, trying to make that base bigger? No. All right. Is the ruler in your ass? <laughs> <laughs> is it at the taint or is it the ball? Mm -hmm. I was born without a taint. <laughs> it's a rare condition. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, thank you, Der Eric. Hold the line for a second. Eric gets the number, huh? Derek, thank you. Thank you. Eric, I'm going to give you her number. Okay. Thank you. Here's if Eric the Midget was banging Tabitha Stevens. Not that quick again. Hold on. I need to start my power chair. Oh, hi, Eric. Hello, Tabitha. Well, enough of this small talk, Eric. Let's f Hey, watch your mouth. I want this to be special. No foul language. This is our little secret. Now hop on my power chair, whore. Oh, let me unzip your Oshkosh bagosh. They're man pants. I had them shortened. Oh, <laughs> your little midget penis is hard. Of course. I should have been ten years ago, and I've never been laid. Can I suck your midget penis? No. First. I want you to piss on me. Oh, Eric, you're so kinky. <laughs> In my face, with my mouth open. Here I go. Uh, 
Oh no, you stupid You got it on my power chair. You're shorting out my power. The king. The king on my power chair. Oh no. What do you think of that, Art? Wow. Can't stand that. You hate that? Mm -hmm. That's a great impression, you have to admit, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to admit anything. Hi, Gary. It's Catherine McPhee. Well, you're going to get uh, Catherine McPhee's phone number, but just do me a favor. Don't tell her it came from me, okay? I know. I won't do that. All right. Congratulations on your five inches. Oh. Are you going to play the rest of the message? No, 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 no. That's private. You go You go do your own thing. I'm going to give you the number. Okay. Report back to us, okay? Mm -hmm. Hold on. You know he wanted Catherine McPhee's phone number real bad if he was willing to measure his penis. Yeah, he usually doesn't participate in any of this. Mm -hmm. Do you believe he was accurate and honest with mm -hmm. the five inches? He did swear. Uh, I guess. He said it was a fraction larger than that. Or longer than that. Hmm. Everybody exaggerates, but <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about American Idol. Do we, where is um, uh, Catherine McPhee, a Blue Iris, calling Eric the Midget? That's what I was going to tell you. It's on the Gary preview. Okay, okay. I got to start with that, and then I'll work my way through. And then it's followed by an angry uh, voicemail from Eric. Uh, the Midget. You guys, will, I haven't even heard this, but the premise is funny. You know what? I, I didn't. It, you'll you'll enjoy it a lot. All right, where what, where is it? On the Gary preview page. Gary preview page. Bear with me while I scroll through 50,000 pages. Okay, here we go. So the idea was Eric got a call from Catherine McPhee. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello. Hi, Eric. This is Catherine McPhee. <laughs> no, it's not. Good luck. <laughs> Hello. Hello. This is Ooh, Catherine Blue Iris. Knock it off. Look my pussy like it's a piece of taffy. <laughs> Hello. Who's Blue Iris? This is Catherine McPhee. Tell Stern that this is not funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> Catherine McPhee loves to have her pussy licked. Knock it off. I want to suck your cock. <laughs> Who is it? It's Catherine McPhee. Stick your midget tongue in my sh Pipe. Oh. <laughs> Knock it off. I know who this is. It's not funny anymore. I want you to put, funny when it began. I want you to put your head inside my pussy. <laughs> you don't want to put my hand like this outside your face. Stop. Fuck that, midget. I'll just suck on Taylor Hicks. <laughs> Jesus, what a grumpy munchkin little piece of shit. <laughs> of course, Eric had to call us. He complained. Hello, it's me, Eric. I was calling because the fact that some, someone keeps prank calling me from the offices with blue iris, <laughs> trying to pass herself off as uh, Catherine McPhee. I'm like, come on. I can tell the difference between the voices. I'm not like Gary the Retard or Wendy. <laughs> I have the ability to... Wasn't there one where Eric fell for it, though? It was. I remember some crank call that Eric fell for. Oh, yeah. We had somebody call him as, like, Carrie Underwood, didn't we? Right. He fell for And it. he fell for that one. He fell tell for... people's voices apart. So tell them, whoever it is, to knock it off. It's not funny. It wasn't funny when the first call came in, and it's not funny when the fifth or sixth one came in. It's ridiculous. And Stern's going to hear about it tomorrow. <laughs> Bye from now. Hmm. Hold it. There's a very upset Eric the actor on the phone. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Eric. Good morning. <laughs> Tough morning for you? Yeah. Did you get any sleep last night? I voted 4,000 times. <laughs> Not that many. How many times did you vote for Catherine McPhee? 330. You know, if you had done 70 more, she <laughs> might be the show? winner today. Notice they didn't give the percentages. I think that kid Taylor Hicks won in a landslide. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Do they? Do, I thought they never did. Wasn't even close. The no, they do if it's close. Yeah. They, they crow about that. Eric, your your uh, endorsement is mean. Sh I think you worked against her actually. Yeah, yeah. I have a bet, Eric, and tell me the truth. I say you called McPhee after she lost. Nope. You've only called once. Only the w one other time that you said I should call. Oh, you called. Oh, back. you did. All right. <laughs> I feel vindicated. <laughs> What'd you say when you called back? Just, you know, I went into a little more detail about myself, like you said I should. What was the detail? I was, said, you know, just gave details like Howard and Ralph said I should. What did you say, if you can recall? Not really, because... You, you know, know what you said. That was Tuesday afternoon I did that. I can't... And what's happened to you since then? It's so exciting. He well, can't. Much, so much has happened that he can't remember what he said. <laughs> What'd you say to her? You know, I just told her a little bit about myself and that. What'd you say? You know that you know I'm a little person in a wheelchair and that um, if she wanted to know anything else about me, she could look on MySpace. Boy, did you oh, blow it, man! We told you not to mention MySpace. That was everything I told you not to say. I told you to tell her that you represent a lot of voters and you represent the midget vote and that you've got over 4,000 people who are all going to be voting for her. And Ralph said, don't mention the chair. Just say, oops, I dropped something. Let me roll over to it. Right. You dumb little fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I was not going to say anything about I represent the midget vote because I don't and I don't like Yeah, but I wanted you to lie. It. I'm trying to get you to get, to get laid. I'm, not, I'm also not going to... Even though I uttered the word twice, now I'm not going to say a word that I don't like. Which is? Well, gee, you're going to goat me into saying it again. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> goad. You're going to goat me. I am, I'm goading you. The M word? <laughs> the word midget. Wow. Uh, hey, Eric. Was what? It, what did you think was the worst moment? Was it Clay Aiken coming out with that, that nerdy dude? That, I... I thought that was bad, but I also at the same time kind of cracked up at that whole thing. I thought it was pretty funny. Did you like Did you like Clay Aiken's new hairstyle? I thought it looked ridiculous. Uh, Beth said to me he's covering his ears with his yes, hair. Yes, yes. I mean, he never yeah. grew that hair out before, and he did look completely different. I said, yeah. look what they can do in Hollywood. Yeah. They can make this nerd look like he's a <laughs> Yeah. Now, did you guys notice something? I know you guys put your attention on Hasselhoff crying, but did you also notice after the um, winner was announced, they panned into the crowd and Carrie Underwood had a look on her face like, oh man, the wrong person won. Is that what that look meant? Eric knows, Robin. Don't don't be a big wise ass. Eric's an expert on this show. Do you ever, hey, Eric, do you ever like record the show and rewind it and watch it again? No, not really. I'm trying to download the all the episodes and you know, watch them so I could maybe go back over and take better notes and stuff like that. What are you going to do with those notes? <laughs> Publish your book. What do you think? There's money in them there, Hills. <laughs> uh, what do you mean download? Are you going to download all the episodes and watch them like in one marathon session? I'll try. Yeah. Because when the people do Sounds like a downloads, party. They cut the commercials. So it, it oh, I see. So you wouldn't have to have the commercials in there. <laughs> Save you some time. God. Jeez, that sounds crazy. What what notes are, are, are you writing down? What do your notes say? Detailed notes. <laughs> well, what I was kind of hoping to do if I get the chance, like last year, to meet the idols, uh, maybe go there with <laughs> the notes and, you know, show them. You know, how much big of a fan I am by giving them the notes. Oh, gee. Number one, give notes to fans. Number two, send dead squirrel to Clay Haven. <laughs> you mean, what you're, what you're implying is you want to meet the idols, take all of your notes, and hand it to the idols? Yeah. Copies of your notes. Right. You mean uh, their individual notes or notes on the whole show? Notes on the whole show. I see. You would just pile, compile one set of notes. And what incredibly insane thought goes through your brain when you come up with that idea? I mean, do you think? Wh what do you think would happen if you handed them your notes? 
that they would sit and read it? You think, it? like, Catherine McPhee's going to sit and read this? Well, you know, they got downtime when they're going from city to city. Yeah. And rather than the Da Vinci Code, let me grab Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you use your computer and build an invincible mini plane so you can fly around uh -huh. in it and and visit the idols? No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> There's no better way to, to kill a Saturday afternoon in Appleton, Wisconsin than reading one of your notes, Eric. <laughs> How long is each note on each person? Like, do you go pages? No, no. no. Was it like a paragraph? No, it's just about, you know, a line per per, per contestant. Yeah, like, give us a line. What would a line be? I, I don't know offhand. It's like, what would you write about Catherine McPhee? Like, last night, what did you write about Catherine? Actually, I didn't take any notes at all last night. Why? Who's enjoying well, the show? Well, for one thing, I got, got um, information ahead of time of who won. <laughs> How did you do that? <clears throat> Well, because... Oh, you're on the West Coast. Well, no. What happened was I went and looked at my mail on MySpace, and everybody from the East Coast emailed me telling me who won. Right. That's what I was saying. You're from the West Coast. Yeah. If I was you, every week I would take notes, and then I wouldn't have to go back and watch the whole thing and take notes. <laughs> I'd get it over with. Yeah. Well, he has, only he wants more detailed notes. <laughs> Is it hard taking notes while you're sucking cock? <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, Eric, I know last night was a big uh, trauma to you. I know you voted for McPhee over 360 times, you said? 30. 330 <laughs> times. Let me ask you something, Eric. When will you make the call to uh, tell her how sorry you are? Well, I'll go with what Gary said, and I'll wait till next week. Uh -huh. Good. All right, smart man. FBI time to track you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big knock on the door. Yeah. Okay. Well, what happens for the next six months? Do you go into a deep freeze? No. What, will you, what will you do with yourself? What do you turn your attentions to now? <laughs> the Oakland A's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll watch, I'll watch A's and Giants games play <laughs> next week. <laughs> Standing start. <laughs> oh, last <laughs> comic standing. You're into that. <laughs> I'll also be watching. Hey, boys, a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, it's a big upset for you. I know you are pulling for Catherine McPhee. Uh, let's hope that. Um... You still got the McFever? Yeah. <laughs> I bet Me you too. Do. Wouldn't you like to bury your midget head between those big boobs? Boobs did look good last night. They sure did, pal. Um, now you're talking like a man. Now, now we're talking. <laughs> Finally. Boy, that young stuff, man. Let yeah. me tell you, Eric, when you when you go in on a, a young girl like that, it's very tight. No, very I, tight. I, I Even for Eric? You know what I mean, or you don't know what I mean? I disagree with you on two things, though. All right. One, <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't need to drop a single ounce, let alone a pound. Oh, bro. You, you're you just way off on that. Neither does... Um, Taylor. No. <laughs> Mandisa. He's no. cute. <laughs> Mandisa was in stretch pants last night. Oh, my God. Who's dressing her? Carrie Underwood doesn't need to drop No, it. not at all. She not dropped anymore. It. She listened to me no, and dropped she, away. She never did to me. Oh, no. She had a big fat ass. She looks great now. No, she was sitting. How'd you like to nail that tail? I'd go out with either one of them. Yeah. You could fall in love with one of those, huh? He already has. By the way, this summer, my family will take me to the house by the lake and glue me to the ceiling so I can be a human smoke detector. <laughs> <laughs> I like to ride on the fan. On the top of the ceiling. <laughs> what was uh, Catherine McPhee's biggest mistake? Do you feel? Uh, I don't know. Really. <laughs> Getting you to like her. Uh. <laughs> I, I hope our last comic standing's good because the Giants and A's both suck, dude. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what was McPhee's biggest mistake? 
I don't know, really. Mm-hmm. I liked her song actually better than Taylor's. Yeah, but wasn't it during the whole contest song selection? I would love if they made Erica Judge yeah. on American Idol. I would, I would watch five times in he a row. He could take Paula's spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, he'd be, he'd be, no, he should take Randy's spot. <laughs> Our judge, Eric the Midget. Oh, no. <laughs> Eric the Judge. <laughs> People say that Simon gives really uh, critical comments. I don't know, he might have run for the money if I was a judge on that, too. I've never heard you be critical. Oh, when, when it, I'm watching the first couple of weeks when they were going through all the auditions and there's the really awful people. I'm always thinking of uh, what I would have said if I was at that judge table. You're kidding. I don't think anybody does that. Well, there you go. Give us an example of your most <laughs> scathing critique. By the way, Eric, uh, this is sad. Eric would have voted more, but his cell phone died. Oh, <laughs> oh is that, that true? Yeah, and and you have to charge your cell phone before American Idol. Isn't that a lesson you've learned? Well, it was almost fully charged by the time I started. Wow. Couldn't you just plug it in and keep going? I did, eventually. <laughs> but I lost valuable voting time. <laughs> At least ten minutes. It could have cost McPhee the entire title. Now, are you guys still going to have her in? You know how off you were, Eric. We just got the results. <laughs> Catherine McPhee had 332 votes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wow. Some guy called us and said your vote only counts once. Oh. Uh, they can trace it or something. Didn't your news department find that out wasn't true or find that wasn't true? Yeah, I don't think it is true. I think American Idol really gets off on how many votes they get, and they're happy with every vote. That's right. They don't care how many times you vote. I heard the news department called, your news department called Fox, and they said that, no, that guy wasn't right. All right. But yeah, just keep voting, Eric. Yeah. Just keep, Whether it counts or not. Yeah, just keep going. Give you something to do. <laughs> Are you guys going to have McPhee in next week? We're going to try. Did you vote in the presidential election? Yeah. I voted. How many times? <laughs> T, Robin, you could only do that once. Duh. Wow. Who'd you vote for? Terry. I see. You got a pattern. Carrie Underwood? You're a mush. In the presidential election, you voted for Carrie Underwood? <laughs> John, Carrie Underwood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Democrat. Blake Aiken. I know, I know. John Kerry. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm we just know. We had John Kerry Underwood. Please, we, between Bush and... Arnold Schwarzenegger, there's no way I'm going back to being a Republican. Yeah. Ooh, who knew? Big loss right. for the uh, grand old party. All right, Eric. Well, thank you, and I'm sorry about the McPhee upset last night. I knew we wanted to check in with you, and uh, certainly a lot of controversy there. Thank you. Say hi, say hi to the Dixie Chicks. I, the new song that they got out, I think, is pretty good. All right, thank you. Did you cry last night when McPhee lost? No. No. All right. No, Thank I you. Didn't, I didn't turn David, David Hassel off. What? Will you be going to the Idol um, concert? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Probably going to go over to the uh, Arco Arena box office in the next couple of days and get the tickets. That uh, way you don't have to pay all those extra charges. I see. All right. Thanks. All right, Eric. Thank you. Uh, bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. New uh, catchphrase, Eric's. I stole that from Tigger <laughs> in the Winnie of the Pooh books. <laughs> Did you remember when he wasn't going to call in anymore? Now he's back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, calling every day. He was trying to play hardball with us where he would not call in unless we dropped making fun of him and making fun of his voice and stopped calling him Eric the Midget. Or call, making him a member of the WAC pack. Right. He really doesn't like that. And it didn't work out for him. His negotiations fell apart. <laughs> he didn't get one demand in his back. <laughs> oh, I got to just talk to Eric the Midget real quick. So tell me what happened. Uh, yesterday you measured your penis for us on the air, and in an exchange for measuring your penis, I gave you Catherine McPhee's cell phone number. Right. And uh, did you end up using that number? Yes, I called one time, and I left a brief, nice 
message and did not mention you once. Tell me what the message was. I just said that, you know, that I'm a fan of the show and a fan of hers. And last year I got the chance to meet Carrie Underwood when the Idols went on tour. And I was mm-hmm. hoping this year when the Idols go on tour again to be able to meet her and the other Idols. Did you throw in the fact that you're handicapped and you're a midget and you're in a wheelchair? Actually, no, I did not. Yeah, well, that's what you should have done. Yeah, but I did give my phone number at the end of the message. Yeah. So he left a message. All right, so you're not going to stalk her with the number? No. All right, good. Was it worth measuring your penis for? Yeah. Yeah. You know, normally he wouldn't do something like that, but this was too good. He had to have that phone number. And he jumped, too. Yeah. I knew I had the right gift yeah. to get that penis measured. A lot of people didn't believe that Eric got five inches in his pants. They think he lied because they were like, well, how is he aroused? But what you do you were, mean, how is he aroused? Well, like he called us, like, is he really going to hold on to a boner and measure? I don't know, but I, I believe Eric. Eric, when you measured your boner, did you measure it first, like without us on the phone so that you could get a good measurement? Exactly. Yeah, all right. That's what I that's what I wanted to explain. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> and uh you you swear to God that you really are five inches. That was an accurate measurement. Yeah, I, what I do is I you know, put it against myself and then put my thumb right where the tip you know, was and then pulled the ruler away with my thumb in place and it was right near the five-inch mark. Right. Now, you didn't hurt yourself pressing the ruler down, did you? No. Okay. Did you measure with the ruler on top of your penis or underneath the penis? Underneath. Underneath. That's how I measure. That's how you have to measure. Every guy's going underneath. So you, and, you, and, and you did not measure from your balls. You measured from the beginning of the shaft, the base. Right. All right. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Five inches. Man. That's impressive. Read and weep. Said, uh, how tall are you? Eric? Three foot five. Yeah, he's three foot five. Wow. So I mean, you know. Next time I get another idol's phone number, I'm gonna have you measure circumference. <laughs> oh, great. Are you circumcised? Yeah. Hmm. Fascinating. <laughs> I mean, that's a big, uh, you know, sort of percentage of his total height, five inches. Hello, Miss McPhee. This is Eric, your fan. I control a huge voting block of votes here in the California area. <laughs> and I and my legions could put you over the top. <laughs> <laughs> Hand over one million dollars. <laughs> I am in league with the Maloof brothers. I have their cell phone number. <laughs> I bet she changes her number now. <laughs> I also know Daphne Zanuga. Hey, Eric. You know, if you don't hear back from her by today, you're, if that, that little phone number is going to burn a hole in your little hand. You're going to have to call again. Yeah, I know you. You're going to end up calling again. The, the only thing, if, if and when she does win, I'll probably give her a congratulations call. It's probably about it. You think that's right? <laughs> if she loses, Eric, will you give her, like, sort of a sympathy call, though, too? I still love you. Eric, I'm going to ask you a favor. What's could you that? could you not call her till at least next week? Because I spoke to her, or we, we exchanged voicemails, and she doesn't think Fox would want her on you know, for the finale. But after, if she wins, she's going to come on the show, and I just don't want you screwing that up for us. So I'm going to call her the day after she wins, and you leave her alone. Okay, no problem. All right. Eric's a man of his word. Do we don't want you screwing that up for us. I'll do that, Gary, for one million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what was actually the rest of the message? What? What, what was the rest of the message that you guys had? 
Hey, Gary, what was the rest of Catherine McPhee's message? Yeah, he wants to finish, finish Please whacking don't it. give my number to Eric. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't give, my, don't give that phone number to Eric the Midget. <laughs> Yes, Ralph. <clears throat> <clears throat> Eric, you blew it, man. Why didn't you uh, mention you vote like 8,000 times in one night? But I don't. I, the most I've voted is uh, 400. <laughs> yeah. You see the percentage last week? That could put it over the top, man. You got you got to you got to sell yourself a little bit. Eric, did you vote 400 times? Um Season three. How many times did you vote last week, and who'd you vote for? I voted only for Catherine, and I really didn't keep track of how many times. But what do you do? You get the number, and you just sit there, and you hit redial over and over? Yeah. Sexy. <laughs> Dude, how many times did you vote, you think? Did you, like, just do that for two hours? <laughs> yeah, I voted for the... Two hours. It's, uh... wow. wow. Is it crazy? You got to mention that to her. Yeah, you should have. Maybe you need to call her. Call her back. <laughs> call her back. I forgot to mention. <laughs> I am my own block of votes. I mean, she didn't even know that you voted for her over like 400 times. You know, I mean. So as soon as they say the voting is open, you've got the number dialed in, you start hitting. See, Eric, what I'm thinking is if you make that clear to her, she's going to be afraid not to call you back <laughs> because she doesn't want to lose your vote. Yeah, before the the actual right. contest. Yeah, tell her she's got to call you back, like, tonight, you know? Or I won't vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> I hold all the cards. You know, the one thing I was thinking is, hopefully for you, though, she doesn't have anyone that she knows that was mysterious showing her to give me her number yeah we're on satellite nobody knows what we're doing yeah hey eric also somehow you got to work in that you're uh, uh you're a midget and you're in a wheelchair you know yeah, like... i told him that listen if you want my votes you must call now <laughs> <laughs> Eric, don't say you're in a wheelchair. Just kind of like, you know, like say something like, oh, I dropped something. I have to wheel over and pick it up, you know? Mm -hmm. Be casual about it. You should tell her you're an idol maker or an idol breaker. <laughs> and depending on her actions. I'm a power broker. I, I meant to actually say in the message that, or give my MySpace page address to her, but I forgot. Gotten after I hung up. Well, that'll turn her on. Because that MySpace page is pretty groovy. Yeah, there's so many great well, guys on MySpace. Yeah, well, like, like, what's what's your profile on there? The address to the profile. No, I mean, what's your like? What does it say? Don't you have to write something about yourself? Yeah. What's it say on there? It just, um, you know, talks about my disability and you know stuff like that. And that's fun. And also. You know, the different <laughs> music that I listen to. and Fascinating. But the reason why I wanted to give her the address to it was so she could look through the pictures and see the pictures of myself meeting Carrie and also uh, the different cast members of American Dreams and stuff like that. Nah, dude, you're not going to get her with that. Yeah, She's going to think you're what? creepy. You got to you got to tell her you're with the ETM agency. She doesn't know that stands for Eric the Midget. <laughs> <laughs> ETM Enterprises. ETM Enterprises. <laughs> <laughs> don't get on MySpace. You get to sound like a stalker. Right. You want to sound like a cool guy. Like cool guys don't have MySpace accounts. You know what I mean? Like you've got so much going on, you don't have time for a MySpace account. You know, Eric, you should have somebody call her back for you and say they're your your assistant. Nah, I think at this point he's got to just yeah. let the one message lie there, and otherwise he'll look creepy. Yeah. Yeah, but what do? You, but you know, he's got to call back today because he can he can vote her in. I mean, today he's got power. Tomorrow, you know, he's got nothing. You must have loved having her number, though, right? Have you yeah. called it a bunch of times just to hear her answering message and listen to her voice? No, I just called it the one time. All right. All right. There it is, Eric the Midget. There's an update on. Uh, his phone number and his access to and Catherine McPhee. Will he be McPhee. calling back to, to plead his case again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if he got it wrong the first time. 
What do you mean? Called the show back? Like, I just know this guy's going to start Jones, and if he doesn't hear from Catherine McPhee today, he's going to. I know he's going to make another call. Well, but Ralph makes a good case. He didn't present himself properly. He got. See, did you get nervous? Yeah, a little. I sh the bed. <laughs> uh, one shot at greatness. Do you want me to give out your MySpace uh, address? Yeah, I guess you could do that. All right. MySpace.com backslash Eric the Actor Lynch. L Y N C H. How do you spell L Y N C H? <laughs> well, did you uh, already mail that letter to me? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. All You're right. writing to him? Yeah, I wrote him a fan letter. <laughs> <laughs> there were these American Idol things that, that came in, and I sent them to him. Uh, okay. All right. Well, good luck, Eric, and uh, keep us updated if you get a call back from Catherine McPhee. Don't wait, man. Call her back. Call her one more time. Wait a few hours and then call her. Good luck tonight. You want Ralph to tell you what you should say again, or you know what to do? I want, how about you give me a little tip? All right, the, here's the pointers. You ready? Uh, your bullet points. Number one, you're, you you didn't make it clear in your first message that you control a lot of the votes. I mean, you 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 voted over 400 times for Carrie Underwood, and you've been voting heavily for her all along. And uh, you know, it would be nice to be recognized for all this hard work you're putting in. Oh, in fact, you could say something like, when the voting, when they say that the voting is open, do you want me to vote for Taylor or do you want me to vote for you? Yeah. Give me a call. Say, you know, if you call me, <laughs> you can be assured I'll be voting my little hands off. Do, do, do you think you should say something like he knows he also has a network of a bunch of other losers? Yeah, who yeah. Vote, vote, they vote. all do what he says. Just say the midget community completely controls that vote. <laughs> Le between you say you're the leader of the midget community, and you probably are in touch with over a network of over three thousand midgets who all vote <laughs> five hundred times each. Five hundred times each. You <laughs> you do the math. I control the tiny empire. <laughs> <laughs> that chick will be sh pants. We'll call you right She'll back. Be right on the phone. Forget rehearsing. Let me get on the phone with Eric. Oh. It's all down to this personality contest. Eh. All right, Eric. Yesterday, you guys commented how nice I was on the phone with you. Yes. Yeah. I would be that way every single solitary call if you would just, you know, accept my three requests. I'm not accepting any of your requests. We don't care whether you're nice or not. Eric, what are the requests? <laughs> then drop the two nicknames I can't stand. <laughs> Which two are those? I forget. Eric the Midget and Eric the Astronaut. All right. right. We've dropped Eric the Astronaut. Yeah, we like Eric the Midget. <laughs> <laughs> and... All right, so there, there's half a request. <laughs> okay. yeah, what's your second request? Stop making fun of the voice. That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do it at home? Just In the words of Vito Corleone, that I cannot do. <laughs> Eric, is it, is it okay if you just like, do it on the phone to each other? I mean, I call Ralph, and sometimes my whole message is just like this. I go... <laughs> 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 so is it okay if they do it just to each other on the phone? Yeah, I guess... <laughs> That'd be all right. He can't hear that. <laughs> What's the third one? And then, you know, stop poking fun at me. Well, that's I like thought you second. didn't want to be a member of the Wack Pack. Oh, that's that. <laughs> oh, now you got four. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> First of all, you got to be in the Wack Pack. <laughs> You've got a funny voice. You don't know why you're funny. I mean, you fit all the criteria. You look kind of, you know, different. When you look up Wack Pack, they have a picture of you. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Question is this, okay? The guy Steve that was with Tabitha that one time, he's even more disabled than I am, but he's not a whack. Pack. Yeah, because he's not funny. No, he doesn't have a funny voice, and he no. doesn't have that attitude that you have. There's nothing fun about him. Eric the Midget, we speak your, your name. name. We you speak are your a name. Legend, but we speak uh, your name. <laughs> and the youngin spoke. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. But Eric the dwarf, is that okay? 
Hey, what about uh, Eric not banging Tabitha Stevens? I got a lot of email about that. Some people respect Eric for not banging Tabitha Stevens. I don't get it. I mean, this is a guy who's never going to get laid in his life. It's like, I want to follow just a drunk. <laughs> Well, no. Jeff the Drunk apparently couldn't do anything, yeah. so you're not. The yeah. bitch didn't lube up. <laughs> what happened there, uh, Jeff? <laughs> she didn't lube up. I was ready. The <laughs> <laughs> <A> bitch. <laughs> fucking whore. That was his best appearance ever. Where's uh, uh, Eric the Midget bangs Tabitha Stevens? Oh, don't play <laughs> Oh, no. A guy preview page in yellow. Eric, it all falls under the uh, category of making fun of you. All these things. That's right. Here you are banging Tabitha Stevens, if you had taken her up on it. Hold on. <laughs> I need to start my power chair. Oh, hi, Eric. Hello, Tabitha. Well, enough of this small talk, Eric. Let's fuck. Hey, watch your mouth. I want this to be special. No foul language. This hey, hey, Eric, you know, I know your whole thing about how you want sex to be special, but time is running out. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much now, any sex would be special. Eric, she's a nice girl, too. She's not like a, you know, she's not like a wacko or anything, you know? She's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, when are you ever going to get laid again with a girl that looks that hot? I don't know. Exactly. I mean, you got to think this shit through. You know, Catherine McPhee is not going to do this.